So if you bear with me here for a moment, this is a video that's not specifically about bees, but it definitely relates to beekeeping and our industry. And that is this past week, I was in Sun Valley, Idaho, all week long for a business conference. It was absolutely great. But one of the things that was part of the business conference is that every morning from 8.30 to 11, 11.30, they would allow us to go ski, and I actually facilitated uh, private trainers for that. Now, I had never skied before in my entire life, and it became very evident as I fell more times than I could count. Literally, I, I had to have wiped out at least over 30 times or so. However, on the second day of skiing, the instructor was progressing me very quickly up to the top of the maximum green hill. It was, it was the, the tallest, most challenging hill in the green level. And she actually told me the only difference between the green hill and the blue hill, which is even more professional. For those of you who are skiers, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm still learning the vocabulary. For those who are not skiers, it's kind of like, I think after blue, then you've got like black diamond, sudden death if you don't know what you're doing or something. I think that's the way the hierarchy of skiing skills go. But anyways, so you know, the point I'm trying to make is that she had progressed me to the steepest, most challenging hill, kind of mid-level mid in skiing ability, and it was steep. It was, it was challenging. It was scary. The biggest challenge and issue that I had was when I would go to turn, because you know, you keep turning to control your speed when you're going down the hill, or you know, even if you haven't skied before, you know, you've seen skiers do that. It's the way you keep control and control your speed. There's a brief moment when you go to turn that you're aiming straight down the hill and your acceler acceleration just picks up exponentially. I mean, it's just like, boom. For me, this being the second day of skiing, I'm like, I'm going to die and I'm going to lose control and this is going to be really, really bad. But here's the interesting thing the instructor had to keep reminding me is that in order for me to continue to keep control, I had to lean in. I had to lean in the direction that I thought was going to be my death. <laughs> I had to lean towards the scary part, the steep part of the mountain. I had to lean into my skis so that I could better control them. So here's the lesson and here's the takeaway that I got from that that is so applicable to life. It's applicable to our bees. Like I said, it's just an overarching general principle and that is who in the world knows why life is set up this way, but it's a reality. And it'll resonate with you when I'm, what I'm about to say. And that is that so oftentimes the things that we find the most terrifying are conquered, if you will, or best faced when we look at them straight on and push into them. Now, there's still no guarantees, just like in skiing, even if a person's been skiing for 20 years, you're leaning in to the skis, you're leaning in to the quote-unquote danger, stuff still happens, you can still wipe out, there's no guarantees. But the greatest probability of control comes from leaning in to the very thing that everything in your mind is saying, this is a bad idea, this is dangerous, this is threatening, this is new, I don't like this. Here's the other thing, principle as well. When I started to learn to lean in to the thing I was uncomfortable with, it started to become a complimentary loop in my head because as I leaned in, as terrifying as it was, I noticed that I had greater control. And as I had greater control, I was actually able to see the beauty and just the joy of this sport. And so it is in life. You think of how incredibly terrifying it is. Say, let, let, me, let me bring it, because it's a beekeeping channel. Let me bring it into, say, our industry as a practical example. Things are moving so fast in the beekeeping industry as far as, far as viral uh, mutations and treatments and how do we keep our bees alive. And, and there's this new mite that's coming over from, I can't remember, I think, I think it's Asia, uh, that may be a challenge, even though it's not here yet. And, and, uh, you know, anyway, there's always this new stuff. It's so easy to either withdraw or ignore it. Like I think about how, how many years I went 
of not using this incredible little Excel sheet that Randy Oliver developed on mite treatment scheduling throughout the year. Uh, scientificbeekeeping.com, if you haven't checked it already, you can plot out your annual mite treatments, the methods that you're using, and make sure that you actually have an effective mite treatment plan. I avoided using that stupid little Excel sheet as valuable as it is because it was intimidating, it was new. When what I really needed to do was just lean into it. I needed to lean into the discomfort and just learn it. Still might make a fool of myself, things may still go south, but the highest probability of success is me leaning into the things that are uncomfortable, the things that at first seem so intimidating, so dangerous. And that's just kind of beekeeping in general. That's life in general. And so anyways, that was one of my key takeaways from learning to ski. And I hope it's an encouragement to you. I hope it's a challenge to you because that's the human condition. We, our minds are wired to make us survive. Our minds, the lizard brain as they refer to it as, is wired to watch for the snake in the tree that may kill us or the saber-toothed tiger that may be behind the next tree that wants to devour us. Now in our advanced uh, society and civilization, we now have the ability and the prefrontal lobes, that part of our brain that's rational, that helps us reason and think, we no longer have to live in that constant state of fear and intimidation of things that are new or unfamiliar. But that old part of our brain is very much still there. And so it's where we have to consciously and purposefully take the time to rewire that and recognize that lizard brain when it's in action and then use our rational cognitive brain on frontal lobes <laughs> to ask, is this really benefiting me or is this actually keeping me from the very thing I want to enjoy? My fear that day on the ski slopes was keeping me, it was trying to prevent me from enjoying this incredibly beautiful, beautiful sport that I'm so glad I was able to push through and just continue to do. And footnote, this is it, wrapping it up. I was only out there skiing for four days. And by the fourth day, I still had fear and intimidation doing it, but it was getting better. I just had to keep doing it. And so my challenge to you, as it is perpetually to me, is what is it in our life that's intimidating, but that you know if you push through there's a probability of you living an even fuller life. There is no absolute certainty in life except death and taxes. And so there's always a risk, but oftentimes it's worth pushing through that risk. It's worth pushing through that uncertainty to see the reward on the other side. Anyways, hope uh, this was of value to you. More beekeeping videos to come in the near future. Talk to you later.